Hello plant people, it's Nora the Lekker Queen. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about watering in semi-hydroponics. Watering when you've got a plant living in Lekker. How often do you have to change the nutrient solution? When do you change the nutrient solution? Do you water from the top, make the lecker wet? Do you water from the bottom? What do you do? Do you take the nutrient solution out and put fresh nutrient solution? All these questions that you've been asking me, we are going to address in the video today. Let's get started. I've got some friends here to help me. I've got my little Marble Queen Pothos. Have you ever seen a Marble Queen that looks this fantastic. I don't know what you call it in other countries. It might be called something else. In Australia, this little thing was sold to me as a marble queen, and that is what I am calling it. I also have here with me a philodendron rio. That is a little rio. That is living in Lekka. I'm letting her trail. That is a new leaf there. She's doing so, so well living in Lekka. And last but not least is my gorgeous, gorgeous Syngonium Panda. Look at that variegation. Absolutely fabulous. So the first question, how often do you change the nutrient solution? The correct answer would be, you want to be changing the nutrient solution at least once every fortnight. At least once in two weeks, you're going in there and looking at your reservoir, and that is the reservoir there, seeing what's going on in there and doing something about it. The ideal situation is every two weeks. So that's the ideal answer. Every two weeks is what you wanna be doing, but let's be real. There's real life, this is real life. And we all have other things that we do. It's not just plants that we care for. We've got pets, we've got other humans, we've got jobs, so many other things call for our time. What do I do? My plants are lucky if I'm looking at that reservoir every two weeks. That's just the honest truth, people. I'm not gonna lie to you. I will, and as you've seen, I have heaps and heaps of plants. If you haven't seen the video where I show you all my plants, Click on the link above, that'll take you to it. I've got so many plants. I will at least once every month, definitely, most definitely, I will at the very least go pick up the reservoir, go, right, okay, you do have nutrient solution. Sometimes I will see that a plant is looking a bit dry. Pick up the reservoir, there's nothing in there, and that's a, like an oops moment. I'm like, do better, Nora. But that's, that's what it is. So if you can do it every fortnight, good on you. If you can't, you know, don't stress. Make it so that it works for you and your plants. That is all I can say. Just make it work for you. If you're finding value from this video, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel. Thank you. Next question. How do you actually water the plants? Do you top up the reservoir or do you chuck out what's in the reservoir and put fresh nutrient solution. The correct answer here is, you get that reservoir, get that nutrient solution, throw it out. If maybe you've got other plants living in soil or something, or you've got a garden, go chuck it in there. Why? The reason you're doing this is, we'll start from the beginning. When you first topped up this reservoir with fresh nutrient solution, so about there, that's where we started, right? We put the plant in, everything's nice and fresh. It's had a flush, it's had fresh nutrient solution. As time goes by, over the course of that two weeks or over the course of that month, that nutrient solution will start to evaporate. It will start to reduce in volume. And the plant is using that as well. So it's not going to be as it was. What does this mean for the pH? The pH in that reservoir is actually changing. And if the pH changes, what you're going to have is a reduction in the bioavailability of the nutrients that are in your reservoir to the plant. 
I've talked a lot about pH and bioavailability in a video that I've done previously. Click on the link above, that'll take you straight to it. Science is telling us that if you've got your plant that's been living in this reservoir for a month, you haven't changed your nutrient solution in a month, the amount of food that that plant is able to access from your nutrient solution is greatly compromised because the pH in that reservoir is now not optimal for the plant to absorb. So your plant is not going to grow as well as it should. So it truly is in your plant's best interest for you to take that solution out and put in fresh nutrient solution. So you say to me, Nora, why can't I just top it up? This is nutrient solution that's fresh. I just made that up. Why can't I just top that up? You can. Is it the best thing for you to be doing? Not really. Why? Again, the pH in this solution is probably higher, lower, whatever. Things have happened. It's not optimal. The pH in your fresh nutrient solution is just right. Okay, so when you mix this fresh one in with the old one, the pH is not going to be just right as it was in this. It's going to be different. It's not going to be optimal. So your plant is not going to be optimally receiving nutrition from the nutrient solution that you've provided. So the best, best practice is for you to throw that out, wash your reservoir because you've still got traces of that nutrient solution in there. You just want to wash it out and get that absolutely clean and put fresh nutrient solution in there. Ideally, while you're doing that, you've flushed your plant, rinse that over with some nice water. And if you don't know what I mean when I talk about flushing, click on the link above and that'll take you straight to a video where I demonstrate what flushing is and I explain why you need to flush and let your plant sit for a few minutes so all that water that you use to flush it out drains away and when that's nice and not dripping plonk it in your fresh nutrient solution and your plant is ready to do some fabulous absorbing and it'll grow away. I want to show you what the pH in your reservoir starts to do when it has been living there for a while. So I've got my little pH tester here. We're going to do a little bit of chemistry today and I've got my indicator. We're going to do that and I want you to see what the pH in that reservoir actually looks like. So this is the reservoir that my philodendron Rio was living in and I'm just going to get a sample of that and put it in my little test tube over there. So I've got that there and I've got my pH testing solution. Just get about a drop or two in there. Close that off. And that is what I've got there. That is what that looks like. So that is looking light green. That is making me slightly unhappy because I put that there. This looks like to me it's a pH of about 6.5, which is still okay because you do want to maintain a pH of between 6 and 6.5. So that is still relatively okay. What I will do is test the pH of my fresh nutrient solution. So this is now the pH of my fresh nutrient solution. So as you can see, the pH of my fresh nutrient solution lies between about 5.5 to 6. And the other solution from the reservoir was at 7. So the pH does change. So what you want to do really is get yourself some fresh nutrient solution. 
I'll test the pH of the reservoir in my Marble Queen. You can see that that is starting to go towards the green end. What I've been able to demonstrate to you is you do get a pH change from when you first make up your nutrient solution to when it has been sat in the reservoir for two weeks to a month, it changes. So you really do need to just throw that out and put some fresh nutrient solution in for your plant. The next question is, do I let the reservoirs completely dry up or do I continuously top up? Ideally, no, you're not letting that reservoir completely dry up because the whole point of using semi-hydroponics is that your plant has got continuous access to nutrition and to water. So if you let it dry up, it's not going to be continuous. So you want to have that nutrient solution in there at all times. But life happens, you know, it's a bit difficult to consistently be putting fresh nutrient solution. So if you find you're running out the door, you pick up your reservoir and it's completely dry, fill it up. Or if you find that it's almost, you know, there's only so little left and you don't have time to dump that out. You just want to top it up by all means, top it up because that's what you need to do. Something is better than nothing, but ideally you do want to A, make sure that reservoir is always full, but B, you also want to make sure that you're completely rinsing out that reservoir and putting some fresh nutrient solution. So that's my plants. That is what I do with my plants in semi-hydro. It's not a complex thing. It's just something you have to keep on top of. Like all the things that you love in your life, it does take a little bit of work. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.